so nice to see. <laughs> yeah, I feel okay. International master from Brazil. ICC is just it's just a million times better. Also, you don't have to worry about all the time that people are, you know, somebody created a new account and he's cheating on you, you know. Here you have an IM. He's just going to play chess. We have this line. Ah, oh, I didn't check the new line that I want to play, so we have this. Also, it's nicer check. when you pre-move, you just have an arrow, so it doesn't confuse the board. So, you know, when you're... Uh, I think I want this move. Okay, usually I do okay with this line. Uh, I think we take, we got queen c7, with f6, it's a pawn sack. It's also like knight d7. Knight f3. He's gonna hang on to the pawn somehow. I'm not sure what, what, what the best way is. If it goes. We'll see. He just gives it up. So a6, bishop d3, knight d7, maybe b4 then. Uh, I guess there's no reason not to take it. Okay. Do this. Bishop takes. Knight takes, I guess. And I think I can just get a better ending. Okay, knight takes d4, queen takes, queen takes, pawn takes, rook c8, rook d1, rook c4. I uh, don't think I can have any problems here. Even here, uh, let's see, queen b6, castles, rook c8. Okay, um, uh, maybe queen b5 was better to stop him from castling. Okay, we're gonna do this. Maybe this. Idea, maybe rook c4. On top of the rooks. He takes, pawn takes, this is attacked. Looks nice, I think. C3, C6, C5. This looks good for me now. I can double the rooks. Okay. Uh, there comes a time in every man's li life when he has to make luft for his king. There comes a time in your life. I think I will get the file now. So where does the rook go? C6. If it goes rook c1, then I take. Okay. And the queen c7 is the next move if it does nothing. Can't have does nothing here. Okay, I get the file. But is it of utmost importance? We'll see. Okay, f5. I'll take, but uh, let's see. Can't play e6 yet uh, because the pawn is pinned. Oh, it doubles. I take on a2, you still can't do it. I'm greedy. I'm so greedy. I'm just gonna take it. Then maybe I can play rook a6. Just stopping any idea he had there. He's gonna remove the king now, I think. Okay. This looks nice for me. Do not see any problems. Rook c6, why not? 
not allow him to go rook to c1. And I need some kind of a plan now. What does he want to do here? Uh, rook c3. Probably. The main threat for me is him getting some kind of perpetual opportunities. The question is also how to improve this position. Can't take, so I'm just going to put the queen on e6. Just blocking everything. Put the queen on e6. See how he likes it. Not give him any active opportunities here. Okay, probably he's gonna see, let's see what he does first. Queen c2 probably. We go back. Uh, is g6 a move? I don't really like it. Draw. He offered me a draw. I do not take it. I will just try and create a pass pawn. B5, A4. That's my plan. It should be hard to lose also, because if he gets some random play, I always have perpetual myself. This looks fairly devastating for him. Queen b3. Okay, I don't want to let him into my position. So queen there. Mm. Queen c4, e6. Queen b3, queen d8. Ah, let's see. He wants to play e6. Okay, king h7, e6 takes text, queen b1. Takes on d5, a3. Is that my big idea? Must take. Maybe queen b8 first. Check. It's excellent if I get queen b1 with check. Awesome. Check. And then a3. I'm blocking the diagonal, so I think this is a very useful pattern. I even played better on ICC. What's going on? Yeah, it was pretty nice. Thank you. Is that my highest rating? In five minutes, yes. 74. That's a new record! We have a new record! That was a good game. I'm gonna look at it. Do you want to look at it? Probably gonna post it on YouTube. So, so we have the French defense and the vinegar variation. The other option is knight f6, which is very solid, favored by our correspondence players. Uh, where to check the latest theory? Uh, I used to do do uh, chesspublishing.com. And I, I used to just update my database with recent games. With uh, yeah, the Wigan Chess Twick. I'd look for, for recent games in my lines. But I haven't been really active with that lately. So okay, he played bishop d2. This is uh 
Kind of a shortcut line. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the line. It's a good line, I think. Not great, but just solid. And I think it was recommended in the repertoire book by Roman Sintasuli and some guys, uh, Lev Albert and Perlstein, I think. And yeah, I recently bought a Venera book by Emerald Bird where he uh, is advocating this move, and I was thinking it might be interesting to look at, but uh, I used to always play this. And take on d2. And this, okay, it looks kind of bad, but usually it's, it's pretty easy to neutralize this knight. Uh, you want f4. And usually I just played here, like queen b6, knight c6. Like this move, this, bishop d7. Then some kind of f5, knight c8. So maybe something like, I don't know, this, this. Here, maybe I take first, knight takes, you know. But uh, I think it's better for white to keep the knight here, but eventually you, uh, well, let's say he puts the knight into d6 at some point. Usually we play f5, and if he takes, then this knight is a bit loose. So usually it ends up like this, and we play knight c8. And we have a typical French kind of position. It should be fine if we're afraid of knight g5, we can play h6. Uh, D4 is always weak here. Uh, was it hanging for a while? Okay, I'm just being generally, but could have taken on D4 there. Yeah. So let's say he uh, kept it protected. I'm uh, just speaking of ideas, you know, when you're talking about ideas, you sometimes miss specifics. But here we'd like to play maybe H6 at some point, and like you go here, potentially here, and the bishop. Ideally, in the French, you want to exchange the light squared bishops. But then also I saw this bishop d7, I think it was recommended by Nikita Vityagov in his repertoire book. I think he gives this line. And if white goes b4 we just go f6. Uh, and we're a bit ahead in development and it should be just, just fine for black. Let's see for... for uh, yeah, the computer is even uh, preferring black at the moment. Well, changed it mind, but it's not much. It's about equal, so should be just fine. Should play 92, and here I thought, why not? Yeah, p4, p6. Yeah, there, uh, yeah. There are always some possibilities of, you know, takes, takes. We have this active rook here. I think that's one of the lines, ideas that... But you go have pass in his book, we have rook a3, we have f6. Black gets active here, and white is uncastled, so it's interesting, definitely. But he went knight e2, so also no reason not to take the pawn. He went knight d4 and knight c6. Let's see. Computer prefers black, he took on c6. He wants to take with the knight, he went c3. And it also wants to take on d4. He took with the pawn. I thought if he takes with the queen, then I just get rook c8 immediately. I thought this one, but it shouldn't matter. And yeah, I just get the file here. Let's say he castles. Well, king t2 maybe. I mean, either way, king t2 here. He has to protect the pawn, king t3, rook here. It's not much, but it's slightly better. It's a slightly better endgame. I mean, surely a computer would defend for white here, but it's no picnic to defend. So he took with a pawn. Yeah, I mentioned during the game that I thought queen b5 was perhaps better. Stopping him from castling. But I want queen b6. He castled, rook c8, rook c1, rook d8. Um, yeah, my idea was rook c4, and if pawn takes, I have pressure here. So you want h3. Can you hear the rain outside, by the way? It's raining kind of heavily in Iceland right now. Okay, rook d1. I was threatening this. He didn't want to uh, take. Let's see what the computer thinks just for... Uh, I mean, I think he gets some counterplay. Maybe against the c4 pawn, but... 
think black must be better. My, my dream is like queen d5, play b5, and have a queenside majority. I think only only black can win there. It's not much, but I think only black can win. So let's see, he went there. Now I got the file, rook dc8, king h2. I made luft, he took and took b3. Rook c6, I wanted to file the queen here, of course. So he went queen d3. Took the file, he went f5, trying to get some counterplay on the king side. He has to do something eventually. Otherwise, I just penetrate the rook here and probably starts to go wrong here. Gives away a pawn. And yeah, we have this pin always, so there's no. No threat of perpetual yet. King h1 and no rook a6. So I'm, I'm stopping this threat. Which is mostly uh, yeah, threatening maybe a perpetual. I don't think more. Look here. Now let's just go to the queen ending. I think it was queen g4. Yeah, obviously I can't take the pawn. I think it's a perpetual here. Check. Go back and forth, and once we go g6, he takes here, and I even have to be careful of, of not Check. losing. So I just stayed solid, I'm covering all, all the squares. There's no e6, covering that. There's no queen c8, there's no penetration here. Uh, the complex one, rook e2, let's go back. I just notice a comment. Instead of uh, rook a6, probably then. Yeah, rook e2. Yeah, that's more active, probably. Let's say, yeah, okay. If he plays the same as in the game, yeah, it's more active. It's probably better. If he wants to go rook c1, get the file, then probably rook e4. Yeah, probably nothing to fear here. Okay, but I went for the solid, solid continuation, but computer like rook e2. Let's see, uh, this one, yeah, queen f5, queen e6. I was just kind of probing around here, so we get the same position. And then I saw the idea here, just get a pass pawn. And he can't really do much, so we just create the pass pawn. And in creating it, you know, eventually I have to open up a little bit here. Queen d6. And yeah, uh, computer thinks queen c4, but I felt like this was a good human choice because once he plays e6, there's no check. And well, he played e6, so let's just see that. And I had this check, which is pretty nice because I always get check. the queen to b1 with check. g3. This move doesn't change anything. I just check him, and go here, and then a3. This is a very useful pattern to know. If, if you just cover this diagonal here with the king, then there's no perpetual. And the pawn gets to a2, so it's... I think he re just, just resigned here. Yeah, he did. So, pretty good game. Uh, I think that was almost mistake-free, more or less. Well, I'm very happy with this game. Very happy with this game. Woo! Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, if this is on YouTube, thanks for watching.